All right, so today I'm going to present uh, my Power BI dashboard on avocados, the green gold of California. So uh, before I start this presentation, I wanna give you guys a quick introduction about myself. Okay, so the reason I picked this topic was because um, I grew up seeing a lot of uh, agriculture and uh, different crops in my country. And I was um, I'm also a daughter of a farmer. So I always been fascinated by um, agriculture and uh, collaborating gave me the opportunity to share my story throughout uh, through the California Avocados project. So as a young child, uh, uh, whenever I gave uh, my mother a hard time, my father would take me to farm with him. And um, I was captivated by the various crops that we had on our farm. And um, as a curious child, you know, uh, I would bombard my father with uh, countless questions. And um, my father uh, struggled to um, answer some of the questions, but um, that's how just kids are, right? Uh, we ask so many questions. Um, so as I grew older, um, I began to understand things in a little bit more practical manner. Um, when we experienced lower production, I would ask my dad about um, what happened, what we experienced, what's the reason for the lower production, what happened last year versus this year. And um, his answer was usually a mix of factors that he could and he could not control. So today I'm providing insights, not only into the production of California avocados, but also the reasons and factors that contributed to the profits and losses in different counties of California. My next slide would be a quick rundown um, agenda of today's presentation. And the first would be the introduction. Uh, the second would be dashboard, where you will see the final picture of my dashboard. Uh, third is data dictionary. Fourth is KPIs, uh, five is the few insights that I have put it together for you guys. And the last would be the suggestions. So let's start with the introduction. So the green gold of California, um, welcome to my presentation on avocado industry in California. Um, avocado also known as the green gold and have gained popularity over the years because of their health benefits and nutritional value. California has been a major producer of avocados uh, since the early uh, 20th century and became the largest avocado producing state in the United States of America. So today I'm here to share more information on this fascinating industry that I was able to gain through deeper uh, analysis of the data. So um, this is my dashboard. Uh, so I have the year slider on the left uh, I have four main KPIs, which is total sales, total production, total harvest, and total price. Um, as well as I have four sub KPIs, will give you the deeper analysis of the data, uh, which is sales year over year, um, price year over year, production year over year, harvest year over year, and um, the last would be the total. So the first chart, you guys can see that it's sales by year. Um, the second would be the average over years, and uh, these are my sub KPIs. So you will see the values on the um, waterfall chart will directly reflect to my sub KPIs that I have it here. Um, this is production, production by county. So if you want to have deeper analysis of what county did better, you can have an idea from this chart. And the last but not least is price by county. So using this chart, you can um, have an idea about the price range for that specific county. So let's move forward. And my next slide would be the data dictionary. For uh, data dictionary, I have my um, main table, which is California avocados. And uh, I also have calendar table uh, joined with my main table for the time intelligence. Um, this one is production factor. Uh, this table belongs to waterfall chart. And this is a major table where I kept all my measures into one table. And now look at the uh, KPI. So KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. And um, the for year over year, I took total sales current year minus total sales last year and divided by total sales last year into 100 to get the percentage. So that's why I counted year over year uh, for my sub KPIs. And 
Now, uh, it's time to look at the few insights um, of my uh, dashboard on California avocado industries. So here you can see that uh, sales growth uh, in 1994, it was increased to 63.44 percentage. However, in 1993, it was only 3.74 percentage. So um, let's understand through um, give why, uh, how that change um, look in the uh, on actual dashboard. In 1994, the total sales year over year was 63.44 percentage. And you can see that in our uh, average over years, which is waterfall chart as well. And the next, I have is 1993, where it went down to 3.74 percentage, and you can see that it's showing up as a red in waterfall chart. So that's a, a sales growth uh, in 1993 and in 1994. Now let's look at few more insights. Uh, the first one is a price insight. So here you can see that I have 1987 and 1988. In uh, 1988, the price was 140.04 uh, percent, as you can see right here in green, versus in 1987, the price went down to 42.99 percentage. So this, this, uh, this uh, screenshot will give you the idea of the price change that happened in California industry during uh, 1980 to 2022, and more specific between two years, 1987 and 1988. So, the next would be the production growth. Uh, we saw the price, we saw the sales year over year. Now let's look at the production growth. So in 2010, uh, production year over year set highest records in 40 years with a surge of 128.77 percentage. So here you can see that uh, the sales uh, production year over year is 100 and 28.77%. And you can also see that in waterfall chart as well. And uh, overall, if you see um, the year 2020, then we had 56.72% uh, for sales year over year. Uh, harvest went down a little bit and it was negative 7.77%. And the price was 29.81, which is comparatively a little lower than um, the other KPIs. So, um, so this growth has been driven by a growing demand for avocados, uh, both domestically and internationally. Um, so as well as adopting a sustainable farming practice and um, technological advancement in the industry, we can reach uh, to the production like this, where it can give us uh, almost 100, more than 100% of uh, benefit. So that's something that I would recommend uh, to California farmers. Now, look at the inside three, which is production in Monterey, California. So as we saw earlier, that 2010 was overall a great year for California, especially for the Monterey County. And here you can see that I have 2010, uh, the production is over 616.22%. And you can see here in uh, production year later in waterfall chart as well. So uh, these are a few positive insights. Now let's look at the negative insights. What actually happened in uh, <clears throat> excuse me in California industry between 1980 to 2020, 2020, and what things they need to improve on. So the first is our uh, sales decline. So sales year over year uh, in 2014 is decreased to 26.45% versus in 2013, it was 41.56 percentage. So let's look at this change um, through a GIF and here we go. So as you guys can see in 2014, uh, it's 26.45%, uh, which is a negative value showing up in red. And uh, you can also see uh, all the um, other factors on that uh, when you hover over the um, chart as well. In 2013, we had 41.56 percentage, which represent the green color because it was, of course, uh, increasing sale. So now look at the few more insights. 
The fourth insight is harvest in San Diego. So in 2011, the harvest year over year decreased by 7.33%. You guys can see here in this chart. And in 2012, uh, it went up to 26.55%. Uh, so what happened in 2011? Why was the uh, harvest was low for the San Diego uh, County? So uh, besides the increasing demand for avocados, uh, the California faces several challenges such as weather, climate change, pests and disease, and water scarcity. And they have affected the lower harvest in 2011 in San Diego. Now, my last insight would be the overview of California avocados market. Here, uh, since I have the data for 40 years, I decided to uh, give you guys a brief overview of all the charts uh, and all the uh, KPIs that I have in my dashboard. So here you can see total value, which increased uh, throughout the year, if you look at from 1980 to 2020. And, um, this one represents the harvest year over year. Um, as you guys can see, it was um, pretty stable and comparatively low uh, com uh, uh, between uh, 1980 and 2000 versus in, uh, from 2010, it's uh, high, uh, going up a little bit, which is a good thing. And in sales year over year, you can see that uh, they have some good years between 1990 and 2020. And, uh, it was high in 2010, and now we are having um, pretty steady uh, sales uh, between 20, 2010 and 22. Hopefully, it will go up in the future. Um, the last, uh, the second last would be the products in year over year. You can see that in 1981, it was high, and after that, it kind of uh, looked uh, steady for the 1990-2000, and in 2010, uh, it went up. And after that, it's doing uh, pretty good. And sales by year, where I have price year over year. So you can see that between, uh, in the beginning, the price was really high, and you can see uh, from here. However, between 2000 and 2010, uh, the price went down a little bit. So uh, it could be the poor marketing um, by the California farmers. And after that, it's going up. So 2010 and 22, you can see that uh, it didn't go down as much um, between compared to these years. So I hope that these insights will help farmers to see what county has more production within California um, and as well as the guide for new farmers and investors. So, uh, my this slide has few suggestions. So even though California remains uh, top states in the United States for avocado production, um, there are still some challenges that farmers are facing in California. First is water scarcity. According to University of California, San Diego County alone lost over 8,000 acres of avocado growth between 2007 and 2012. So we are only talking about San Diego County here. Um, so you can imagine that if the water is being wasted, then how much it would cost to entire California to all the counties. So here is my solution for that problem. Um, water infrastructure, uh, including reservoirs and pipelines to help store and transfer water more efficiently. That way water is not uh, being wasted before it reaches to its final destination. Now let's look at the second challenge, uh, which is climate change. So the historic drought that lasted from 2012 to 2016 caused an estimated 3.8 billion in economic losses to California's agriculture industry alone. Uh, according to the study by the University of California. So here you can see that uh, the bottom is all uh, yellow. Uh, it looks very dry. And here um, the picture of drought. Uh, and in the last picture, you can see that um, the avocado leaves curl because of the uh, searching sun. And um, to avoid this problem, I suggest that um, this would consider giving incentives for greenhouse that can shield avocado trees from extreme weather conditions like frost, high winds, and heavy rain, uh, which can damage or kill the trees. So if we uh, 
focus on those things, then we can have better products in, uh, in California industry. The third uh, challenge is pests and disease. So our cotton production can be affected by pests, such as uh, thrips, mites, beetles, as well as the diseases such as root rot and avocado sunburn. So in 2015, we lost $50 million. Um, so that's a big amount. So I would suggest um, three suggestions for uh, this slide. Here you can see the leaves uh, has all the um, pests on it. And here you can see that it caused some kind of diseases where uh, the, uh, the tree is uh, turning in white color and it might get down. So the first suggestion is regular monitoring trees. I know that it's harder for California uh, farmers because they have a lot of trees and number of farms. So uh, you can, it's hard to keep an eye out on each trees, but I would say if you um, can monitor those trees, then uh, we can uh, resolve the solution early and it will help the California uh, farmers. The second one is uh, advanced uh, pest management techniques. So you can use biocontrol or uh, natural insecticides, which is a really good option. And uh, the third one is government seminars for um, necessary guidance and modern techniques and techniques and tools. So here, um, I know that government is holding seminars, but they they are not. Um, but the California farmers are not aware. So if uh, the government make them aware and give them modern techniques and tools and uh, give some incentives, so then the farmers are more likely to take advantage of those uh, techniques. And the last is uh, the market competition. So here you can see that US imported approximately uh, 708 million pounds of avocados from foreign countries in 2010. So um, if we support our local uh, brand and um, California growers can try to be marketing and branding strategies such as promoting their, um, promoting their unique flavors, textures and nutritional value, as well as uh, supporting uh, local products. So that way we can have uh, more um, sales of California avocados, which are American, which, which is American grown. So um, in conclusion, uh, farmers, policymakers, and investors need to work together to address challenges to ensure uh, sustainable growth for the industry. And uh, by implementing the suggested strategies, farmers can overcome the challenges and achieve profitable business. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, thank you for listening. I know it was a little longer because I have the data for 40 years, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Like a flight with no visa, first class with the seat back, I still see you in my past. You wanna